Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to yet another thrift store prepper video that maybe five people are going to watch best case scenario. But that being said, let's move straight on and look into today's video. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making some oatmeal and we're going to be making oatmeal in one of my recycled weed baggies so you know by now you know that this is becoming part of a uh, part of the theme something we love at the thrift store prepper are these mylar bags and today we're going to show you how we can make oatmeal in them and not just any oatmeal we're going to make a protein enriched pretty nutritious pretty healthy oatmeal in fact so uh let's dive in and see what we've got two packets of the instant oats that you can get. Now I bought a box the other day for recipe purposes. I wouldn't recommend these um, necessarily for, for, for your prepping pantry because it's quite an expensive way to buy your oats. You're much better buying them bulk but sometimes you can find these these quite cheap in your, in your places like Walmart or your, your grocery store. So For this one we're going to use two packets and we've got apples and cinnamon. Um, we're going to add to this a Nature Valley uh, roasted almond granola bar, so we're going to crunch that up and we're going to add that in with the the oatmeal and we're going to use a muscle milk to mix it with. Now this has 20 grams of protein and this is uh, a meal replacement and it comes packed with uh, vitamins and other nutrients and things that you're going to need so let's put that there if you want to freeze it and have a look what it says then this would be the time to do so so you can see we've got quite a lot of good stuff going and that's what's going to make this a relatively healthy dinner so we've got ourselves a bag and i've used this before i've cleaned it out rinsed it out and uh this is what we're going to use to cook our our oatmeal in so get the first bag and we're just going to Pour it in there. And we're going to get our second bag. And we're going to pour it in there. So there we go. We've got two bags of, uh, bags of oatmeal going in there. So that, that in itself is going to be quite filling. Now, anyone familiar with our prison cooking recipe videos, that they, they'll know that there's always going to be some involvement of crushing things going on, so that's no different here. We're going to crush down our granola bar as much as we can. There we go, I think that's good. Try not to screw it. And we're going to add that into the mix now. We're going to crush that down just a little bit more, and it is very 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 brittle. So we're going to kind of mix that in with the oatmeal, give it a good shape, there we go. Now these are things that um, I actually find at the dollar store, they're, they're two bucks a piece so I don't necessarily think that's uh, the best of deal but they're, you know they're pretty good things to be having in your in your house if um, in case of emergencies they're going to give you a little bit of uh, nutrients and vitamins um, I'm not sure the shelf life that's what I'm trying to find at the moment um, maybe at the top there you go in the, right in front of your your eyes department and I'm not even sure what that says so I don't know if you can make head and a tail of that I certainly can so that's about all I can find on there that might be some indication of when it expires but never mind so We'll give that a shake, break it up, and let's have a little look. We want to just cover, just cover the oats, which we've done now. We're just going to let that soak down a little bit, give it a squish. And yeah, I think that's about enough in there. So we can seal this up. And um, we've still got half a carton of our muscle milk left, so we can put the, the lid on and save that for later, or we can drink that now, whatever you want it to be. If you are in an emergency situation, you've got a little bit for later, so you can put some aside, and you've got your 
oats that are going to be stewing in the bag. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to pause the tape. I pause the tape. How old school is that? We're not using VHS. We're in a much more modern day and age where technology does not require VHS tapes to be recorded. So we're going to hit the pause button and we're going to come back to this maybe 10, 15 minutes, see how, uh, how they've soaked up. So we'll see you in a moment. All right, so that's been about um, as long as it takes to go and have a smoke. So about 10 minutes, I guess, that we've been uh, letting our oats um, stew in, in our little Mylar bag here. And again, you know, the, the great thing is about this that you can make it the night before and in the morning on your way out the door, you can just grab and go. And if need be, you can eat it right out of the pouch. Um, and... You know, you can wash the pouch out when you've done and, and you use it as, as you need. So let's open this up and I'm going to pour it in a bowl so we can have a little look at it just to see what we've got going on. And the good thing about these, you can squeeze, 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 squeeze from the bottom. And make sure you get every last little piece out. So there you go, I think we're good. There's not much left in there, so we can put that to a side and clean it out. And give it a little mix. There you go. There's our protein packed, healthy, nutritious oatmeal cooked in a wheat bag. And I'll give that a little taste test for you, just to prove it's edible. Um, you know, it tastes pretty much like oatmeal, I mean, with the uh, the added crunch of the almond. You kind of almost get that uh, apple crumble kind of taste. So, there you go. A very quick, easy little hack for you to learn how to make a oatmeal in a, a weed baggie. Um, that's about all I can really say. Thanks for watching. It's been another shit video for the thrift store pepper. Section next, section next time. I would catch you next time. Jesus Christ, you think I'd get the ending right by now?